We're going to begin looking at waves, and we're going to start talking about waves by talking about vibrational motion. So vibrational motion, before we can understand that, we got to see exactly what causes things to vibrate. So the first term is resting position. That's where our object is not moving at all. So when, when, the, when this bobblehead, for example, is not vibrating. Now another name for resting position is also equilibrium position. So when something's in equilibrium position, it also is at rest when we talk about vibrations. Now when a position is at equilibrium, at this equilibrium position, we call it being at a state of equilibrium. So you know, all these terms mean the same thing, resting position, equilibrium position, state of equilibrium. Just understand that when you're in a state of equilibrium, your forces are balanced. Okay, so your forces are balanced, which means you have no acceleration. Now, if we do apply a force to the bobblehead, we will start to see vibrations in the bobblehead. Now, this movement will start off, right? I mean, you push the bobblehead this way, it'll start here, and it'll bounce back, back and forth, but pretty soon it'll start to slow down. It'll become less and less over time, and that is because of something called damping. Okay, damping is where a vibrating object loses its energy. Now, again, remember, energy never, never disappears. It just goes somewhere else. So it is lost to other objects. So this mechanical energy is lost. To keep something back and forth constantly moving, you have to have a sustained input of energy. So if I wanted the bobblehead to keep the same movement, I would continue to have to push and pull it to make that happen. I would have to have sustained energy input. Now, like any moving object, obviously we can have Newton's third law there, or Newton's first law being used here, the law of inertia. And what that means is an object moving will continue its motion as long as forces are balanced, right? As long as no unbalanced force acts on it, it will continue in its path. The force that slows the bobblehead, so when we go towards the, away from the equilibrium position, is called the restoring force. And what the restoring force does is it pulls it back towards equilibrium, okay? So as it moves away, it slows down. Once it gets to its point where the forces are balanced, then the restoring force will pull it back. Okay, so the initial force that starts it makes it move this way. And then the restoring force slows it down and makes it come back to equilibrium position. So restoring force, you could say restores it back to its equilibrium position. Um, other things that could be considered vibrating systems. Um, we got a pendulum that's hanging here, right? And if, if we were to take it, it would swing back and forth. Um, if we have a mass attached to anything, it could be a, a pendulum of any sort. And as long as that's moving, we could get what we what we call a vibrating system. And then um, another one that you see is when you hit a, hit a vibrating fork or a tuning fork and it vibrates. Um, this vibration of back and forth of the tuning fork is what we would call an inverted pendulum or another vibrating system.